Hello everyone, how are we doing? I, uh, I've got an Ubers match here for you today on the original black and white. Uh, this one's against Vizon Dash, and uh, as I said before, I'm in London right now, so this should probably be going up on the scheduled uploader at some point. I'm not sure quite when, but it'll pop up in your sub boxes, and you won't think a thing of it, because you'll be like, oh, MBZ just uploaded, when in fact, he probably uploaded like two days ago, and it's just going up now. Anyway, enough of the semantics uh, behind the scenes of what I'm going to be doing. Let's just get straight into the game, and uh, we've got Sun versus Sun going on, so straight immediately, I don't really care what's going to happen, I think he's going to lead with Groudon, I want to lead with Groudon as well, and you know, he has Shaman on his team, he has a couple of things which uh, Stealth Rock could be useful against, I thought, as much as it's annoying that he gets Stealth Rock up as well, I just want to get them up myself, so I'm just going to go for them, so we trade Rocks for Rocks on the first turn, Groudon versus Groudon, nothing too special going on so far, but uh, for this point in the match, I'm thinking, okay, I think he's probably going to switch out, because I don't think he can do anything to me, and he can't really do anything to me. He does Dragon Tail me out, but I went for the Thunder Wave thinking he'd have to switch to something. And unfortunately, he just ends up sort of phasing me out anyway, so... Works out for him because the first thing that comes in straight after Stealth Rocks are set up is Ho Oh, which kind of does blow. Uh, firstly, because this is original black and white and I don't have Regenerator, and secondly, because, well, I kind of forced to roost here because if he Dragon Tails me out again, which he does exactly, I wouldn't have been able to live a switch in if I hadn't roosted and I couldn't have killed him with any of my moves at that point. So he's going to Dragon Tail me out to Reshiram. As you can see, this team is kind of Stealth Rock weak ish just because of fire types on the Sun team and stuff. Um, and it's kind of annoying, so I guess I could just carry a spinner, but oh well, it usually does well without having to rely on one, so I'm just going to go with it for now. But um, in comes Reshiram. Reshiram is the perfect thing to take down Zekrom. Uh, Zekrom? Groudon, sorry, excuse my stupidity here, uh, because I have specs. Specs plus Fusion Flare. You don't even need to go for Blue Flare. We've talked about this multiple times before. Tony did the damage calc. Timid Specs with Ember does 47% to a Dialogus. So Fusion Flare is more than enough to kill everything in the world. So I don't care about it because it's 100% accuracy and I don't care for Blue Flare missing. So I'm just going to leave it out of there. But, um, uh, as much as it's nice to take down his Groudon, the unfortunate situation is, of course, he brings in his Reshiram, and when you're faced with a Specs Reshiram, kind of the question is, what am I going to Death Fodder? And I thought I had to Death Fodder Groudon, it wasn't really going to do much, he doesn't have a spinner, so rocks are going to be permanently there, and I didn't feel it was going to do too much in the rest of the game. So Groudon is the one who bites the dust, uh, dodges the first Draco, goes down to a second, and then I can safely bring in my Dialga, who can uh, threaten him out with the Draco Meteor uh, itself, easily. So, that's what I do, go for the Draco, and he gets into his old Dialga, which I don't know what kind of Dialga it is at this point. Um, but Draco does a significant chunk, so I don't think it's very defensive. Um, it has lefties, so that may sort of signal it maybe like a sort of more physically defensive one, maybe, because it's, it didn't take Draco too well. But I don't know. At this point, I'm kind of just speculating as to what it could be, so... I have to death fodder something, because I honestly have no idea what this dialogue is going to do. And I think, well, if he's a setup one, I can easily go to Ho-Oh and then maybe Roost. Uh, if not, then I guess he's just going to go for a Dragon Pulse. I maybe could live one. I thought I could live with a Dragon Pulse simply because of the fact that uh, I have massive special defense with Ho-Oh. But unfortunately, not going to be able to happen. It is going to go down, but um, not really too big a deal, because Stealth Rock were up and Ho-Oh didn't seem like it was going to do a whole lot of damage this match. So, I just let it die. So... At this point, I know that a Draco, a second one anyway from this range of HP, is definitely going to take KO as Dialga. So that's what I do, I just bring it straight in. I don't think he has a safe switch for a Draco, so it seemed appropriate for him to stay in there and just take the brunt of the hit. Uh, you know, leave something to take the hit and then bring something in that's more advantageous when I have minus two and just kind of uh, abuse the situation right there. So he goes into an Arceus, and I'm going to kind of scared here because if he sets up a Swords Dance and starts extreme speeding everyone, that's probably not going to be the best thing at this point in time i don't really have like a giratina or anything to take it on so uh things are not looking great right now so i go into rayquaza kind of thinking maybe i can just i don't know extreme speed it if it decides to do something like that uh it turns out that he is a is interesting arceus he has return he also has lefties and i thought this was just a strange arceus in general tony told me i think it was a defensive build of Arceus, which was the normal type Arceus, but it had like recovery and it used leftovers and it used return for stab instead of extreme. It's a bit of a weird set in general, um, but there you go. It kind of 
t takes that outrage ridiculously well. That's a banded outrage. Uh, so you can tell it's defensive, definitely. Um, so he's going to obviously have to switch here because the threat of a Draco or a Fusion Flare is too high. I honestly don't know why I went for a Fusion Flare here. At this point, Draco threatened his entire team, this Giratina especially. So I have no reason to go for uh, a Fusion Flare. The only reason would be if Draco would potentially miss, which is, I guess, how I rationalized it at the time. Uh, thinking back on it, I'm definitely a poor idea to go for the Fusion Flare, because it means I have to switch out here. D can't take on this Giratina with uh, Reshiram alone, and I'm going to have to go to Dialga to sort of defuse the situation here, because at the moment, Giratina with Calm Mind is looking to be a big threat, and I don't want it kind of running all over my team and ruining my life. So, uh, I can easily go for the Draco. I don't think it will kill, simply because he has plus one at this point, and Giratina is so unbelievably bulky. Uh, even though it's coming off a ridiculous special attack that Dialga packs, lives with a tiny little smidgen, gets off the rest, goes from no health to full health, and not very happy am I right now. But the good thing about this situation is that now he's asleep, I know he's a calm minder, which means he's probably his rest sleep talk variant with one attack, meaning that Dragon Pulse is his only move, meaning that I can go into Arceus not afraid of any Will-O-Wisp, set up a Swords Dance on him, go for the Shadow Claw, and consequently to hit KO him from that range, because I think probably being a calm mind uh, uh, Giratina, he's going to be max defense invested, and so it's going to be uh, definitely a challenge to take him out with a Shadow Claw. So, get up plus to, uh, I'm going to be able to dodge sleep talk stuff because he's going to be missing stuff uh, and not be able to get off a move. He's getting rest and all this stuff that he doesn't really want to get. So, go for the Shadow Claw at this point. I know he's going to wake up on this turn and probably going to go for the Dragon Pulse. Not too worried about it at all because I know I can live it just because I'm an Arceus and I just have a ridiculous amount of base stats just invested anyway. So I don't need to even need to throw EVs into them. You know, it's an Arceus man. It has all the all the investment there and done and sorted before it even gets on the field. So um, Shadow Claw is I'm gonna go for it again. At this point, just looking at the HP and how much I did last time and maybe damage variations, I wasn't sure as to whether it would be able to KO him. But thankfully, damage rolls are gonna go into my favor. RNG is gonna be my friend today. And and I'm going to be able to take out the Giratina. And at this point, he honestly has nothing left to take on Arceus. I have enough HP where I'll have enough life orb recoil to take down the rest of his dudes. That's exactly what I do. Arceus Extreme Speed Rampage right at the end. And uh, this is just why I love this thing. Arceus just destroys people when the late game comes around and you're not prepared for it. So... There you go, that's going to be the game. Hope you guys enjoyed this Ubers uh, one, and uh, I'll hopefully have some more stuff coming up on the schedule, upload for you guys uh, sometime soon. So be sure to keep looking out in your sub boxes as always. Uh, if you did like this video, you can hit your appreciation button called the like button, which is where you show your like appreciation or something. I don't know. Uh, that's cool. Uh, otherwise, check out my previous video linked in the, uh, the screen right now. And I will see you next time. Love you all. Goodbye.